Good morning, guys. I was um, getting my hospital bag ready, getting pulling everything out, deciding what I want to wear and all that, um, or bring or whatever. And I just got a notification that my new glasses are here. My eyes have been changing so much. Every pregnancy, I feel like like I lose more eyesight. So I wanted to get ones with my new prescription so that. You could see in the hospital. I mean, I could still see with my other glasses. It's just like the slightest bit off. So it says they're here. We're gonna grab them and then we're gonna continue. Actually, we're gonna go to Starbucks and then we're gonna continue packing the hospital bag. Hi, Miko. Oh, Kwa finally fixed this door. It was squeaking so bad. It was making me so angry. <laughs> Let's get my keys. Freaking hot out here in Florida. We got the we got the glasses. Let's open these so I can see while I drive. Carl got me this little box cutter for my keys. <laughs> it's like a little key that turns. Shoot, how do I shut it? This is my first time using it. Oh, that turns into a little box cutter. Carl got it for me. I got I get the same style every time. A lot of you guys are like, why do you wear such big glasses? I literally loathe seeing the rim of my glasses. Like I do not like to see the rim so i get as big as i can and yeah so normally i wouldn't pick black but i have all the other colors and i'm like i don't want to buy two of the same colors so i can just also pop these lenses out and put it in another color but yay i can see i'm gonna definitely pack these in my hospital bag if you're wondering where they're from they're from gins and they're like they're women's oversized glasses they don't have many like op options i feel like I I find it right away when I go on. I don't even know the name of it. Let's get some coffee and then we're back to what this video is really about. Literally drank the entire coffee before I got back home. Let's go. Okay, I'm somewhat annoyed because I just searched for like... I searched every single place possible for the charger to this camera and I cannot find it. So, I just ordered a new one on Amazon but... I don't know, it's, it's not like Canon brand, so I don't know how good it's gonna be. And hopefully this battery doesn't die before I get this video finished. All right, so we're finally packing the hospital. It feels so surreal. I got these little packing cubes and this one's for like electronics. So I know I'm gonna wanna put the chargers and stuff in that. And then I got like regular packing cubes for like the clothes and stuff. Um, I'm not going to use this bag. I was going to use this one for baby girl, but I think I'm going to use that other one I got. And then I am just going to take this big roller suitcase. I need enough things for three days. I don't really plan on wearing much, honestly, other than my nursing bra and a robe or like the hospital gown. But I do like to have like I bring Kwa's heated blanket, I bring a pillow, so like I need something big enough to like put that in. So we're going with this baby. I don't know how I got on B's PR list. They sent me the suitcase, but I am forever grateful. Like, I love their luggage. This bag is from them as well. All right, let's open her up. I love how it has this like little baggy thing with it <laughs> so cute. i am almost 38 weeks i'll be 38 weeks in two days um so sutton came at 37 weeks so technically this baby could come on its own at any moment so i just want to have this finished and i've been feeling like really crampy i think she'll wait till my c-section day but just in case i want to have all the stuff packed so we're gonna start with baby girl stuff i don't ever bring like diapers wipes nothing because the hospital has it if you guys watched my last video i think it was or the one before last i was showing you guys the different baby outfits um so i'm bringing those two which are right here and then put that in there and then i just love these little button little onesies because they just pull open and it's just super easy so i'm bringing a couple of these 
usually they're i keep them naked and swaddled because i'm just like constantly doing skin to skin but sometimes i don't know i feel like i brought these with the last one with hansen and then i have a few bows i want to pack one more just like smaller bow but i have these two big ones and then these little hospital hats which are just so cute so i brought those too and then i'm bringing the butt paste applicator because it's just easier to do it and the hospital doesn't have this and then a binky i also have shoot i forgot everything let me go grab it all right got it um her wubbanub it's a little pink duck her baby blankie this is the one i got her from sarah noni it's the same as hansen's but hers is like this blush pink and then two swaddles um just a like beige one and a white one and that is everything that's all i'm gonna bring for her they provide diapers wipes like they're gonna give us like a nose sucker syringe her first bath will be there they'll have the shampoo and everything so you don't need to worry about like bringing any of that they'll have literally all of that and then also like stock up before you leave take the diapers take the wipes take everything so baby girl's bag is officially packed i'm gonna take these straps off because i don't think i'm gonna use them all right there now it's officially packed wow that is so crazy oh my god all right so some electronic stuff i'm not packing like right away like my ipad because i use it every day and like our laptop and stuff but i did get this little carrier thing for everything because we will be bringing our uh, cameras uh laptop all of that so this like holds wires and stuff i have a few extra like iphone wires that we just have laying around so i'm gonna put them in here now i'm gonna bring my airpods too just in case i saw i've never done it but i saw a girl wearing them in the surgical room whenever you get your c-section done i don't know if i'm gonna like that i think it might freak me out more but i'm gonna bring them just in case uh, because she just played music instead of listening to like the doctors but uh, if you guys watched my last uh, pregnancy birth vlog my anesthesiologist like was amazing and was like talking me through everything and I think I'd rather be listening to that than music like I want to hear like what's going on and like I want to hear the baby's first crying stuff I'm pretty sure but I'm gonna bring them just in case this is my iPad charger. I have a couple, so I'm just going to pack both for now. And then a wire for the iPhone. And then I'm definitely going to bring my Fujifilm camera. I didn't have it when I had any of the other kids, but I love this camera. It's the X100B, and it just, like, captures moments so amazingly. So I'm going to bring that, and I have the charger for that and an extra battery. This battery's already charged, I think. No, she'd be dead. All right, we're gonna charge her first. She'd be dead too, all right. We're gonna charge both of these first and then we will pack it, but I'll pack the camera already. Um, the only things I'll add in here is probably like another charger for Qua, an extra memory card, the um, computer charger, and um, the camera charger. Once it comes in, because I freaking can't find it, Hanson loves to pull it out a little while and play with it. So I'm like, I know he put it somewhere, but I just don't know where. And I already spent like half my morning looking for it. So let's open these packing cubes. How many will I need? All right, so for me, I am just bringing a couple pairs of underwear. I know I probably won't wear my underwear. They have like the diaper underwear you wear when you're there, but I just want to have it just in case. And I brought a pair of black pair for when we leave the hospital because i am wearing like all black just in case like anything leaks out of me and then i have these three nursing bras i'm bringing two here and then a black one for my black outfit when we leave and then i just have this gray robe like i'm not bringing any clothes to change into like during the hospital stay if anyone comes to visit i'm just gonna put the robe on like I have no desire to get ready. All right, for Qua, we just have socks, a couple pairs of underwear, and then a sweatsuit. So just pants and a sweater because 
it gets really cold in there because I get really hot, so I turn the AC down. That's why I'm bringing him a heated blanket and everything too because I just am so hot after I give birth. So that's that. And then, oh, I forgot to put my coming in here. It's just a little free people set. I've had it forever. It's all black. It's nice and comfy. I know it's like the middle of June, but it is cold in the hospital and you step like in Florida, you just step out of one place and then hop into your AC car and you're good. And I want to be like covered up and comfortable. Like I don't want to be like, I don't know. You know, they wheel you down in a wheelchair. I just want to have pants on and a long sleeve shirt. So that is my coming home outfit. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna to wear to the hospital. I wore it to the hospital with Hanson. Well, I wore the pants. I think I wore a different shirt. No, I think I wore the same shirt and I just had a jacket. It was cold when we had Hanson, but this is super lightweight. Um, and it's just big and comfy and it fits me. <laughs> so this is gonna be what I wear to the hospital. Just white pants and a white shirt. Okay, as for my toiletries, I am still using this stuff. So I just have this on my counter, but I'm just going to bring a hairbrush, some scrunchies, and a hair tie, uh, hair clip. I have my moisturizers. I use like three different ones for different situations, so I have all three of those. My dry shampoo, um, and then I just have some concealer, blush, a uh, little highlighter, just like my day-to-day -day, like makeup, some bronzer, um, in case I feel like putting a little something on. <laughs> I don't usually wash my hair when I'm in the hospital, but I do take a shower. So I, for my shower, I just bring body wash. I haven't bought the travel size one yet, so I need to grab that. And then a um, little travel toothpaste, and then a little deo travel deodorant, and then a face wash. I am still waiting. I have baby girl's um, blanket with her name on it. It's in her room, so I'm gonna bring that, and I'm waiting on these little newborn socks that I ordered to come in because the ones I have just look too big. So I got like teeny tiny preview socks. So hopefully they'll come in before we go. Um, and that's basically it. Paul probably put one more outfit in here. I just want him to like pick it into the hospital. He'll probably just wear shorts and a sweater or, or sweats and a sweater or something like that. Sweats and a t-shirt, something simple. And lastly, we have Quaz. Uh, what is this heated blanket I'm gonna bring for him and then I bring the pillow off my bed I just switch like change the pillowcase because it's just my favorite pillow it's just comfortable so I'm gonna put that here and maybe I'll throw a quad and a pillow too um if I'm feeling generous <laughs> and that's basically it I think shower shoes I just ordered those okay I'm gonna bring my Ugg house slippers just to wear it there and then these are the shower shoes i got they're from zara i thought they were super cute they'll be great for around the pool and the lake after too over here pillow extra pair of glasses go in here and then i might just throw in like my curling iron um just to touch up I'm not sure if I'm going to wear my hair straight or curly yet, but we'll see what happens that day. And that's basically it. I'm sure there'll be like a few last minute things that I throw in here um, as we're heading out. Like my iPad, the computer, the computer, the computer charger, toothbrush, I have toothpaste. Uh, but that's really all we need. And if I forget anything, we're not far from the hospital. So, and my mom does plan on coming out so she can bring it out but I highly doubt it. They usually, they have most everything that I need at the hospital. Everything else is kind of just like extra, like um, for comfort, basically. The only other thing I can think that I'm gonna, might wanna throw in here is a sound machine. I've never brought them before, but I've been seeing a lot of people bringing them and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of smart. If a nurse is coming in to wake you up, she's gonna wake you up, so we'll see. She's all done. My hospital bag is packed. <laughs>
And I realized I forgot to show you guys my bump in my last pregnancy update. So she's pretty much the same, I feel like. Definitely feeling lower, but overall pretty much the same. But I'm gonna do a 38 week update video for you guys next week as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.